Well, hey there, still at the Oregon coast and wanting to share with you a little bit of a closer up view of some of the denizens or things that live here. This is a California blue mussel, it lives right here in Oregon too. And as you'll see, it has two equal sides that come together with a little muscle, closes them shut, and the belly and the inside and the rest of the body looks orange, but beautiful shades on the inside of blue and green. So that's a mussel. They're good when they're about this size to eat. I'll stew them with vegetables and tomatoes. This is a sand dollar. It has all kinds of teeny tiny feet when it's alive. This is its exoskeleton, but the little teeny tiny feet both on the underside, that's its mouth right there, and on top that help it move around in the sand. Mussels cling onto rocks, like I was sharing earlier. This is a cockle, and it has two shells too that come together right here, but we're just seeing one of them. Cockles always have lines that go from the end down to the edge of the shell. This is a clam, known as a butter clam around these parts. See a beautiful coloration on the inside. Only clams know why they're pretty on the inside and not on the outside, but you'll have to ask them. This is an oyster. Again, they have two shells. Have some interesting things on the inside, sometimes cool colors. Once in a good long while, a pearl. That's a cockle. Sorry, not a cockle, that's a scallop. You can tell it's a scallop, even though I have lines so much of the cockles. They're smaller, but the scallops always have these pointy little bits here. They're very tasty. And that is a razor clam. So one of these things, and this is your first question, is not like the other. One of these things doesn't belong in the group. Can you guess which thing? is different. And why? Mussel, sand dollar, cockle, butter clam, oyster, scallop, and razor clam. Tell me the family or the group that almost all of these belong to, but one of them does not. On your mark, get set, go.